Dhiraj Tatar, Assistant Professor in the Chemical Engineering Department of LGIT Ahmedabad. In this lecture, I am going to start new topic of the mass transfer operation. So let's start. You can see on the screen, chapter name is mass transfer coefficient and topic is the molecular diffusivities of transport processes. So you should know what is the meaning of molecular diffusion. I told you in a very first lecture, what is the meaning of molecular diffusion? Molecular diffusion is a part of the mass transfer. In molecular diffusion, diffusion takes place means there is the moment of the molecule from the higher concentration region to the lower concentration region and driving force for the mass transfer is a concentration difference. You should know driving force for heat transfer and mass transfer. Driving force for the heat transfer is difference in a temperature difference or I can say temperature difference the driving force for the heat transfer and concentration difference is the driving force for the mass transfer. So, in this lecture, I am going to discuss with you molecular diffusivities of transport processes. So, what are the transport processes? There is a mass transfer, there is a heat transfer, there is a momentum transfer. So, in this syllabus, we are going to study analogous behavior of the two transport processes. First one is that is the heat transfer and mass transfer. And in the same manner, we are going to see analogous behavior of the three system or I can say three transport processes. First one is heat transfer, mass transfer and momentum transfer where we are going to see various dimensional numbers. So, let us start. You can see on the screen the molecular diffusivities of the three transport processes that is nothing but momentum transfer, heat transfer and mass transfer have been defined as. So, momentum diffusivity. Momentum diffusivity is available in the momentum transfer. So, analogous behavior in the heat transfer that is thermal diffusivity. So, thermal diffusivity is av available in the heat transfer and mass diffusivity is available in the mass transfer. I told you there are three transport processes. First one is a momentum transfer, heat transfer and mass transfer. Okay. So, here we are going to see diffusivities in all these transport processes. Means what, what are the similar terms, how to represent diffusivities in these three transport processes we are going to see in this lecture now. So, you can see momentum diffusivity. This diffusivity is available in the momentum transfer. You can see there V is equal to mu by rho. So, what is the meaning of this mu? V is nothing but here kinematic viscosity. Okay, And mu is nothing but dynamic viscosity divided by the density. If there is a availability of the kinematic viscosity, you can find by using density. If you are having dynamic viscosity, you can easily find by using density the kinematic viscosity. You have to just divide the dynamic viscosity by the density. You will get easily that is the kinematic viscosity. And this term is nothing but your momentum diffusivity. So, this momentum diffusivity is a very important concept in a momentum transfer. So, now second transport process that is heat transfer. So, heat transfer I told you the driving force is the temperature difference and there is also thermal diffusivity is available. That diffusivity is represented by the alpha and that is given by K divided by rho into Cp. So, what is the meaning of K? Here K is nothing but your thermal conductivity. Remember in the heat transfer we are having K is the thermal conductivity and in mass transfer K is a mass transfer coefficient. So, K divided by rho into Cp, this rho is nothing but density and Cp is nothing but specific heat okay, at constant pressure and K is nothing but your thermal conductivity. And by using this alpha, we can easily find thermal diffusivity. So, thermal diffusivity is represented by the alpha. Now, next term in the mass transfer. So, in mass transfer, we are having mass diffusivity. This concept we are going to discuss in detail in coming lectures. But at this moment, you should know what is the meaning of mass diffusivity. For that, you should know what is the meaning of molecular diffusion. So, molecular diffusion means there is a moment of the particle, moment of the substances from the higher concentration region to the lower concentration region. Means there is a diffusion occurs from the higher concentration region to the lower concentration region. And this term is represented by the capital DAB. This capital DAB means diffusion coefficient of the component A into the B. Means diffusion of component A occurs into the component B. If there is a DBA, means diffusion of component B into the A. You can write any system in this manner. Okay. So, these are the three important concepts. Momentum diffusivity is available in the momentum transfer. Thermal diffusivity is available in the heat transfer. And lastly, and lastly mass diffusivity DAB available in the mass transfer. And based on this concept, three mark question can be asked in your final examination or this question can be asked in your viva or interview. After that, now we will see some relations between these three diffusivities. So, what, what are the three diffusivities? First one is the momentum diffusivity, second one is the thermal diffusivity and the third one is the mass diffusivity. 
Now we are going to see important relations. You can see on the screen, these three relations are very important for exam purpose. Three to five mark question can be asked in detail. Three to five mark question can be asked in your final examination to discuss the relation among molecular diffusivities of the transport processes. So you can see on the screen, first relation is there is the relation between the momentum diffusivity and thermal diffusivity and that relation is given by the ratio of momentum diffusivity to the thermal diffusivity is represented by the Prandtl number. That Prandtl number is nothing but PR and is equal to mu by alpha. Okay, that is nothing but Cp mu by K. I can say V by alpha, V is nothing but here kinematic viscosity is equal to Cp mu by K and Cp is nothing but your specific heat, mu is nothing but your dynamic viscosity and K is nothing but your thermal conductivity. I am repeating here K is the thermal conductivity not mass transfer coefficient. Second one is, second relation is relation between the momentum transfer and mass transfer. So in momentum transfer, we are having momentum diffusivity and in mass transfer, we are having mass diffusivity. And this is the relation ratio of momentum diffusivity to the mass diffusivity is represented by Smith number SC. It is equal to V divided by DAV is equal to mu by rho DAV. V is nothing but kinematic viscosity that can be represented by mu by rho. I told you by using dynamic viscosity by dividing density, we can easily find kinematic viscosity. So just I am replacing the here V by mu by rho DAB and DAB is nothing but your mass diffusivity of component A into the B. Okay. So this is the relation between the momentum transfer diffusivity and mass transfer diffusivity. Next term is the relation between the heat transfer and mass transfer. So here diffusivity in the heat transfer is given by the thermal diffusivity and in mass transfer it is given by the mass diffusivity. In ratio of the thermal diffusivity which is the diffusivity for the heat transfer and diffusivity for the mass transfer is the mass diffusivity. This ratio is nothing but Levy's number Le and is given by alpha divided by DAB okay, and is equal to K by rho Cp into DAB. Okay. So, K is nothing but your thermal conductivity, rho is nothing but your density, Cp is nothing but it is the heat capacity and DAB is and DAB is nothing but mass diffusivity of component A into the B and this ratio is nothing but Levy's number. So, these three relations, these three ratios are very important for exam purpose okay. and these three ratios can be used for the designing purpose means designing of the mass transfer equipments. These are the very important concepts. So, 5 to 7 mark question can be asked on the definition of the diffusivity after the definition of momentum diffusivity, thermal diffusivity and relation among molecular diffusivities of the transport process. You have to explain all this concept, you have to explain what is the meaning of V, what is the meaning of alpha, what is the meaning of Cp, mu, k individually okay, for 7 mark question. After that, now we are going to see analogous among the mass, heat and momentum transfer. Analogous, what is the meaning of analogous? Analogous is nothing but similarity. So we are going to see here similarities between three transport processes. Three transport processes means mass transfer, heat transfer and momentum transfer. Till this moment, we have seen relation among the diffusivities. Now we are going to see different analogous behavior. This analogous behavior is very important. This question can be asked for seven marks. So first analogy, first similarity is given by Reynolds that Reynolds analogy equation for that is Kc divided by V infinity is equal to H divided by rho V infinity Cp is equal to F by 2. So what is the meaning of H? H is nothing but heat transfer coefficient, rho is nothing but your density, V is nothing but velocity, Cp is specific heat at constant pressure, F is friction factor. Okay. So this relation is very important, you have to remember this relation. Okay. You have to write, write, you have to write this relation as it is in the exam. Okay, after that chilton colburn analogy. So this analogy gives JD factor, J factor. Okay, and this relation is available for the diffusion purpose. So JD is equal to KC divided by V infinity, Smith number SC raised to 2 by 3. Okay, the analogous factor for heat transfer, I told you JD for the mass transfer means J factor for the mass transfer that is a KC V infinity SC into 2 by 3. Similar behavior, I can say analogous behavior in heat transfer also available that is given by chilton colbert analogy and, that's, that, and that equation is JH is equal to Stanton number into Prandtl number raised to 2 by 3 means JH, J factor for the heat transfer, JD means J factor for the diffusion or I can say mass transfer. Similarly, JH means 
जे फैक्टर फॉर द हिट ट्रांसफर इज इक्वल टू एस टी इंटू पी आर रेस टू टू बाई थ्री एस टी मीन टेन टॉन नंबर पी आर मीन फ्रंट ऑन नंबर ओके आफ्टर दैट बेस्ड ऑन कलेक्टेड इन लेमिनार एंड टर्बुलेंट फ्लो रेजी मीन एक्सपेरिमेंटल रिलेशन ऑल्सो गिवन फॉर द चिल्टल कॉलबन एनोलॉजी दैट इज जे डी इज इक्वल टू जे एच इज इक्वल टू एफ बाई टू मीन्स दिस इज द एनोलॉग इज बिहेवियर एंड रिलेशन अमोंग द हिट ट्रांसफर एंड मास ट्रांसफर फॉर द जे फैक्टर्स सो जे डी इज इक्वल टू जे एच इज इक्वल टू एफ बाई टू आई टोल्ड यू जे डी इज द जे फैक्टर फॉर द डिफ्यूजन और मास ट्रांसफर जे एच इज द जे फैक्टर फॉर द हिट ट्रांसफर इफ इज नथिंग बट फ्रिक्शन फैक्टर आफ्टर दैट नेक्स्ट एनोलॉजी इज टेलर प्रंडॉल एनोलॉजी ओके द एक्सप्रेशन डेवलप्ड इन एनोलॉजी आर फर्स्ट फॉर द हिट ट्रांसफर सो वी आर गोइंग टू सी हर टेलर प्रंडॉल एनोलॉजी फॉर द टू केसेस फर्स्ट वन फॉर द हिट ट्रांसफर एंड अनादर वन इज फॉर द मास ट्रांसफर सो फॉर हिट ट्रांसफर इट इज गिवन बाई स्टैंड नंबर ओके दैट इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाई द एस टी सो स्टैंड नंबर फॉर द हिट ट्रांसफर इज इक्वल टू एफ बाई टू डिवाइडेड बाई वन प्लस अंडर रूट ऑफ एफ बाई टू इन ब्रैकेट पी आर माइनस वन दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रिलेशन यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दिस रिलेशन एज इट इज ओके सो एफ इज नथिंग बट फ्रिक्शन फैक्टर पी आर इज नथिंग बट प्रॉन्डॉल नंबर दिस इज फॉर द हिट ट्रांसफर नो एनोलॉगस रिलेशन मीन्स अनादर रिलेशन फॉर द मास ट्रांसफर ऑल्सो अवेलेबल दैट इज गिवन बाई द स्टैंड नंबर फॉर द मास ट्रांसफर so standard number for the mass transfer is equal to a by 2 divided by 1 plus under root of a by 2 sc minus 1 so here what is the difference between standard number for the heat transfer and mass transfer you can see in the previous slide that standard number for the heat transfer there is the prandtl number is involved okay that is nothing but cp mu by k but in this mass transfer concept standard number involves smith number okay so this is the major difference in mass transfer we are going to deal with the smith number and in heat transfer we are going to deal with the prandtl number so all these relations are very important you have to remember all these relation there is a separate question can be asked like this for five marks explain in detail analogies between mass heat and momentum transfer so you have to remember all these equations as it is there is no derivation involved for this analogy you have to just remember all this equation and terms involved in this equation means you should know what is the meaning of h what is the meaning of rho what is the meaning of cp what is the meaning of f what is the meaning of sc st pr okay and you have to write all these equation as it is so what we have seen in this lecture you have discussed different analogies for the mass transfer okay momentum transfer and heat transfer analogies means similarities after that we have discussed here diffusivities for the three transport processes heat transfer mass transfer and momentum transfer okay so this is all about this lecture we will see next topic in the next lecture thank you very much